Hello, my name is Faiza Padapura. Joining me are our team leader, Alexander Crisco, Christopher Frank Lamont, and Gantabia Cadell. Our faculty advisor is Dr. Hung Lei. Our project is Smart Engineering Building, and we are developing the Smart Building System. Our project uses IoT sensors, which are used to create an automating control system containing an HVAC system and a lighting system to reduce energy consumption, which will be explained further in detail in the pitch. The broad problem is climate change, the main issue being a two degree Fahrenheit increase in average global surface temperature, specifically as we can see in this diagram, heating, cooling, lighting, and appliance operation contribute to almost 40% of energy consumption in the United States. The need is to reduce building energy consumption wherever possible. Our goal was to design a system that was capable of doing that through building automation. Um, so the, our objectives were to design a low voltage system that had high sensor accuracy. Um, we wanted 99% data processing accuracy and 95% communication accuracy between our two modules and correct system operation more 90% of the time to give a useful system. The deliverables for our project are one data gathering unit, DGU, which contains our microcontrollers and sensors to measure the mover metrics, a central data hub or CDH, which uses a Raspberry Pi to do all of the data processing. And we also have a user interface and database that allows the user to interact with the system and view log data. And we also built a room model and control board to adequately show functionality of the system. So for our division of labor, we have myself, Alex, and Chris, who both worked on the DGU portion of the project. I mainly worked on the microcontroller programming, and Chris mainly worked on the sensor design and construction. And then we have Gintabia and Faiza, who both worked on the full stack application that is the uh, central data hub. Uh, and then this is a photo of our data gathering unit. Um, as you can see, you can see the power supply, T C, and the ESP32 all encompassed by um, the light sensor, temperature sensor, motion sensor. And then we have a photo of our real-time data collection. Um, first data point will be the light below threshold. Uh, motion detected is the second. Third, light above threshold and no motion detected. And then temperature increase. So the following is a result for our web application. On the left-hand side is what, what an end user will see when trying to access our website. They must log in to then see the homepage that shows the weekly weather forecast for Houston as well as a internal metrics for the building. And right here, what you see is an inter is one of the integral uh, tables for our database. It, it hosts the information sent in by the data gather gathering unit, which then gets routed to our website to for display. The significance of our project is that about 5 to 35% of energy is projected to be conserved and, and a further 50% is possible with lightning. Our system is suitable for both residential and commercial buildings so that uh, climate change can be tackled effectively in both sectors. Thank you very much for your time.